Hello and welcome back children. Today we are going to learn about the girl who was Anne Frank, Pro 7, Class 10, First Language English. So before we could go to the lesson, let us see about the author. Louis D. Jong, 24th April 1914 to 15th March 2005 in Amsterdam was a Dutch journalist and historian specializing in the history of the Netherlands in World War II and the Dutch resistance. So that's all about uh, Louis D. Jong and let us move to the pre-reading task of today. Pre-reading activity, have you heard of Adolf Hitler? What comes uppermost to your mind when you think of him? He is uh, Adolf Hitler. Do you know something about him? Yes, I can see you answering. Let us learn more about him. Adolf Hitler was the leader of Nazi party. Have you heard about Nazi party? Second World War. What strikes us most about him is the fact that he was a dictator and was responsible for the death of 6 million innocent Jewish people in different parts of the world. He committed suicide when Germany was occupied by the Allied powers at the end of the World War. So quickly we will move to the lesson. Before that, let us see the new words and meanings. Nazi. I was telling about the Nazi party. What is Nazi party? Nazi, the political party led by Adolf Hitler, which controlled Germany from 1933 to 1945. This is a party uh, held by, uh, led by uh, Adolf Hitler. So, you will be learning more about him about uh, this party and uh, what were the rules of this party in a uh, social science world wars. So what is this concentration camp? A prison consisting of a set of buildings inside a fence where political prisoners were kept in very bad conditions. These are the concentration camp where people are being arrested in a bi big set of building and uh, they were kept in sections there, they were fenced there and uh, inside they were treated in a very bad condition. Uh, their uh, conditions were so cruel uh, that we cannot even imagine about that. Decree. Decree is nothing but an order having the force of law. Divorce. Decree. Emigrate. Have you heard about this word emigrate? Emigrate is nothing but moving, leaving one country and moving to the other country permanently and go to live in another country. You can see that people are emigrating from one place to another place. Derelict. It's nothing but bad condition in a bad condition. Suppose a building or anything which is not in a good condition is called as a derelict. Annex, a wing added to a building, a wing, a separate wing. There is a building befo before that or uh, behind that there is a wing added to it. Deportation, so deportation is another new word you are learning now. It is nothing but forcing to leave the country. Somebody is forcing you, this is your mother country and somebody is forcing you, you are not supposed to live in this country and you should leave this country and get away. You are so not you are not the citizen of this country. So this was been happened to the Jewish people uh, by Hitler. Cramped. When you come across this word, it is nothing but not having enough space. It is narrow. According to your height or according to your weight, 
there is a uh, there is a place is not sufficient to you to live in or you can't sit there you can't stand there so that type of condition is been called as a cramped tenuous it is nothing but so light now here i have brought you the example of butterfly that it hardly exists inevitable is certain to happen you have a guarantee of having expectation for something to happen certain to happen adolescence this is a wonderful experience for each and every one of us every one of us have come across this period but according to me you people are in adolescence period now that is a period of time in a person's life when he or she is developing into an adult you are no more a small kid and you are no more a grown up person also you will be coming to an adult stage before adult stage you are coming a golden period whatever you are having now the teen period is been called as a adolescence tartan you have come across this word tartan it is a woolen cloth with a woven pattern of straight lines of different colors crossing at right angles ecstasy it is a state of extreme happiness ecstasy is nothing but if you are too much happy it's of extreme means to the to the higher level it is extreme happiness rapture is also a kind of happiness but that is an expression of having great delight when you are very happy you are delighted uh, your expression tells us rapturous grumpy grumpy is something bad tempered person a bad temper you can see this grandpa is very much angry on someone his temper is not good he is very angry so you call that a person he is a grumpy person like that the grandpa is a grumpy person here bad tempered person ragged is caused to suffer when somebody is been ragged inside they are uh, facing lot of problems they are suffering with some uh, problem that has been called as ragged where they can't express to some others authenticity is geniusness and truthfulness having the perfection somebody is very genius and truthful you call them you call this uh, term as you mean that as authenticity exquisite is delicate anonymously unidentified so what happens when a poet is not mentioning in his poem his name or he just gives a, this is anonymous means don't know who has written we don't know the actual person who has written when you are you are receiving some anonymous letter that is nameless letter addressless letter only the letter reaches us but we don't know who has written to us so that we call as anonymously and it is also meant as unidentified that is without name or address ominous is threatening it is really threatening and somebody threatens you how you feel that is called as ominous jack boot a long boot which covers the leg up to the knee epilog is nothing but concluding the speech coming to an end is called as an epilog remorse is shame when you are in disgrace a shameful attitude that is called as remorse denunciation is condemnation so when somebody is condemning you that is called as denunciation meant as condemnation indictment is accusing somebody accusation when you are been accused by somebody when you are been told by somebody that you are accused they accuse you in several things especially it happens in a court so you call that as 
indictment or accusation. Viciousness is cruelty and violence. Persecution is treating somebody in a cruel way. When you are ill treated by somebody that is called as persecution. Vestiges are the traces. So, how these vestiges are being formed, the olden days people, how they lived and all we just uh, able to find with only the traces which are there. So, seeing the traces only we came to know these olden uh, days people were living in such conditions. Anti-Semitism is hatred or cruel treatment of Jewish people. So, the people how they were ill treated by the uh, Nazi party and Hitler is uh, anti-Semitism to the Jewish people. How the Jewish people were ill treated by this Nazi party and uh, uh, Hitler is called as anti-semitism. Now, we will move to the lesson. I told you that we are going to learn today about a very interesting person Anne Frank. This lesson is about Anne Frank, the teenage girl who wrote a diary because she had no other friends and thereby recorded a world of information about the Nazi activities. Maybe Without this diary, we would have not known what happened to her, what type of a life she was living. Though we had an history of it, we did not, we would have not come to know what has happened to her, what are the cruelty she has been faced, her family has been faced, would have not known. Until then, we have seen her diary. She died at a very young age and her diary went on to become something much more than a diary or a record of troubled times. You people have the habit of writing diaries. Writing diaries is such a wonderful thing that all your truth, all the fact, whatever is happening in your life will be mentioned in the diary. Writing diary you should have really too much of courage, you should be very courageous to write diary, is not it? So, uh, when you see this uh, about the diary, everybody will have this anxiousness of maintaining diary. Because of her writing diary, seeing the diary only, uh, it we were able to find out so many truth, so many uh, truth whatever happened in her life. It became an inspirational story as I was telling you. Uh, Anne Frank's diary made us really to inspire many, many. That is inspirational story for the young and old, not only for the young, it is for old also and was made into movies and plays. So, if you have a chance of watching Anne Frank movie, please go ahead, watch the movie, you can see what and all happened in her life. Anne Frank's father. Otto Frank, so Anne Frank's father name was Otto Frank, a banker moved to Netherlands when Hitler became powerful and assumed the leadership of Germany as the head of the Nazi party. So, you can see the Netherlands there, Anne Frank's father was in, moved to Netherlands and uh, when, which time he moved? When Hitler came to the power. And he was uh, assumed as a assumed a leadership in Germany. So during that time he came to move to Netherlands. So what happened after this we will see. Later when Hitler invaded Netherlands too, Anne Frank along with his wife and daughters shifted to an annex above his office. So he was a banker and he was running an office. So in uh, on top of the office itself behind that he had an annex. So, what was annex I was telling you a wing behind the building any building. So, his uh, office building had one annex that is derelict rooms that is nobody could know that hidden rooms were there. So, what happened when Hitler came in search he was invading people he was pulling all the Jewish people that time Anne Frank family moved to the annex above his office. 
There they lived with another family consisting of a boy and his parents for two years in secrecy. So imagine and see without coming outside they were living in with another family accompanied with them like they had one boy and his parents and these Otto Frank family had two girls. So all these children all the three children were teens and uh, how many days they were living in that secret place for two years. The three teenagers could not afford to make any noise or go out of the building. If they go out or make any noise, they would have been caught in the hands of Nazi people. So, their only connection with the outside world was through the radio and four members of Otto Frank's staff. Really, Otto Frank's staff were very, very helpful to them. So, what they did? They were helping them in all the ways, getting whatever they want. They used to bring and give. Very, very timely help was uh, given from the Otto Frank's office staff, four members. They were really helping these families behind this building itself. Out of sheer loneliness, Annie starts writing in her diary and hiding place is detected. And the people are arrested and taken in cattle trucks to a death camp in southern Poland. So, anyhow, they came to know the hidden place. In front, you can see there is an office. There is a hidden place behind. It's a dark rooms where these families were residing in for two years without knowing for anyone. But unfortunately, they came to know the Nazi. Came to know that these people are hiding inside this room. So, they came, they checked and they arrested all these people and they pulled them, dragged them like anything in the trucks, cattle trucks and to the death camp in southern Poland. So, after that, there what they did, the men were separated from the women and the mother, Mrs. Frank dies very soon. So, what they did, men were taken separate place and women were taken to a separate place. In this, uh, the feeling, the mother could not uh, uh, really even face this uh, such type of problem. What she did, she hardly lived for many days. She dies soon. So, the girls, what happened? The girls were starved and taken to another camp where they are afflicted by typhoid fever. Both of them die very soon. So, their condition is also very worse. You can see there Anne Frank uh, uh, that stage girls what happened? They were uh, their heads were shaved. They were having typhoid fever and uh, they were suffering from cold. They do not even have proper clothes, proper food. They were starving without food. All this led to uh, fever and other disease and even typhoid affected them. Both of them die very soon. One after the other, both Anne Frank and her sister Margot. Her name was Margot. So, after that what happens? The father, however, manages to survive and is freed by the Russians. When he comes home, he meets his former typist who gives him Anne's diaries. The reading of these diaries gives Otto Frank a new purpose in life. So, after the second world war what happens? Anyhow, the result is like uh, favorable to the Jewish people. The Jewish people and all were so many, so many millions lost their life. But they were being freed by the Russians. After that, anyhow, in the whole family only Otto Frank was saved. So, anyhow, he manages to survive, comes outside. When he comes outside, his former typist, what she does, she brings all Annie's diaries which was being left in the annex. She brings all that, hands it over to Otto Frank. So, what uh, Otto Frank did, he was not able to read that diary before. He was so generous enough, he didn't even touch her, his daughter's diaries before that. So, later what had, had happened to him that she typist gave the diaries to her father. 
so that uh, time he started reading her diary reading her diaries day by day day by day each and every page really made him to live in this world and bring out lot of changes it gave it made him why should i live without the wife without the children what is the purpose of me living in this world this was a condition of otto frank but after seeing the diary after reading the diary he felt that there is a purpose of living in this world so an article about these diaries inspires otto frank's friend to have all of them published so his friend otto frank's friend read his diary and he thought though two publishers refused to publish it he wants to publish it so they he went and approached two or two of his publishers they refused it the third one published it and immediately it becomes popular worldwide not only in germany the diary was really became too popular worldwide jews all over the world and many people from oppressed countries connected to it easily and write to otto frank to say so otto frank devotes all his time to reply to these letters so what happens uh, when uh, other country people saw this read this published diary what they did they really got connected to this the other country people oppressed countries people who were been uh, suffered from the same type of condition what they did they saw this uh, diary read this diary and really got moved what they did they started writing letters to otto frank about that and uh, otto frank what he did all his lifetime he was spending to write the replies he was replying to all the letters of the people who were writing letters to otto frank so what he did he spent he devotes all his precious time in replying to these letters what happened a play based on the diary is enacted in many german cities so it uh, after books they started enacting plays and even movies were made out of it and it is watched with great interest by germans itself who admit that they have wronged the germans itself initially they felt very shame they were not even able to come out and face each other of the theaters because they german people only ill treated the jewish in such a way so this was really very touching thing uh, how did they got they have realized their mistakes because of they were they have been wronged before so many memorials are set up in her name and youngsters pay tribute to her to her grave in the bergen belsen concentration camp her life serves as a message of courage tolerism and optimism to the whole world so what happened after this many what they did they set memorials in her name and frank's name and her sister's name in a uh, bergen belsen concentration camp where many of them were died they were been put into mass graves and been buried many people 100 people 1000 people were been thousands and lakhs of people were been mass buried so that places they kept they set up the memorials and uh, they used to pray and uh, they even uh, in front of her graveyard what they did the in front of the anne frank's graveyard so much of flowers were been kept every day every day they honored her with beautiful flowers her life serves as a message of courage how much courage she must have though she was been kept in the derelict rooms what she did she did not keep quiet she wants to know she wants to show the world what and all happened to her so this is a remarkable thing in the history isn't it so her life serves as a message of courage tolerance and optimism to the whole world this is a great inspirational story isn't it children we learned more about that if you have a chance of watching this plays and movies 
you are supposed to watch it you must do that you have a chance to watch it please go ahead so today we are going to see the language activities collocations what is collocation collocation in language refers to a regular combination of words it is a convention of what goes with what for example we say tell a lie not speak a lie lie collocates with tell and not with speak you should understand this when you are speaking to somebody when you are talking to somebody you say don't tell lie tell a lie don't say we don't say don't speak lie so tell collocates with lie not speak collocates with lie no it doesn't tell only collocates with lie so what goes with what that is collocation of words so in this today we are going to see some examples do how does do collocates with some words let us see do homework do the dishes do crosswords do your best do the cooking the next one is make how make collocates with make a noise make a fuss make a disturbance make a mistake make a decision make a will make profit make an offer make your bed make movies so this is about make collocated words get a present get a present get a university get degree get tired get married get angry get wet these are the collocated words connected with get have have a good time have a word with someone have a time to do something have courage have a guess so home assignment for today here is some information about another famous woman maria montessori use the information and write a paragraph so you need to write this now there will be given some point wise accordingly now for example i am telling now you learnt about anne frank today so when about anne frank only the date of birth is given the time the place where she lived her parents name is been given in a sentence wise one below the other what is your duty you need to make it as a paragraph how this is also a kind of collocating sentences so making a sentences and making a useful paragraph so you cannot put you cannot collocate any sentence to anywhere you need to see there also what goes with what so here i am uh, i brought you some uh, information about the first uh, the famous woman maria montessori you need to use the information and write a paragraph let's see the information maria she was born in 1870 in italy first woman graduate in medicine of rome university became a famous teacher and educator thought of new ideas in teaching wrote two remarkable books on teaching young children died in 1952 so what is your duty now it has been analyzed in the sentences all these sentences you are supposed to put in a paragraph hope you enjoyed this uh, lesson today and uh, i think you have learned more about anne frank okay thank you children ಹೊಸ ಹಾಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಜೊತೆಗೂ